making a coral whenever I was in elementary school and I had to make a project about a Christmas tradition from the culture I was a part of and being half Filipino, I chose to make this star lantern. The parole is a symbol of Christmas in the Philippines. They're usually large star-shaped lanterns, typically hung outside the house during the holiday season. I don't know how much they cost now, but they could be so expensive if you buy one, if you don't make one. But it's more fun making it. If you miss home and you're here in the U.S. or somewhere else other than the Philippines, if you have this in your house, other people who's passing by is probably Filipino will be like, oh, I know who lives there. She must be Filipino. You can use any sort of pliable stick or wood material to make your parole. Bamboo is preferable. You use rubber bands to attach the strips to bamboo to create a star shape. You'll need two of these star shapes because you're gonna add pegs in between the stars. You can use a piece of bamboo to wedge between the two stars, or you can use these dowel pins that we found from the hardware store, which are just basically little wooden pegs. We put those pegs in between so it will puff up. So it's like a lantern that if you wish to put like lights inside, you can put it in there. There's this, uh, the province called Pampanga. If you will just drive by on the road there, there will be like lots of vendors with very intricate lanterns or parole. They could they could vary from like uh, like small ones or bigger ones, but they're more elaborate lights inside that you can just plug it in and hang it. You can see it from afar, so it's very attractive. The one we're making won't have any lights in it, but you can of course add lights, like LED lights, but I think they're just as pretty on their own with a cellophane paper. You'll want to cover each section with a piece of cellophane. Don't worry if the seams between the cellophane aren't perfect because we're going to cover up these imperfections later. So I remember the first time we made one of these, I was really upset because the cellophane was not lining up perfectly on the edges, but... I said, don't worry about it. We'll just cut it and then once we cover it up with those tissue papers, it will look, you know, it will look better. If you want to be classy, you can have an all-white pearl, but generally they're very bright colors. If you want to make it really elaborate, then you can put those scrunchy tissue paper around it. Some people even make like a, a box. It doesn't have to be like a, a star. So it can be as elaborate or as easy as you want it to be. The parole we're making right now is somewhere in between. We're trying to add a little bit more detail with tissue paper just to make it fancier than just the frame covered with cellophane. I really like making the tail because it is kind of like making a paper snowflake. Yes, you fold it like in a triangle, then you fold it again. Like you're made, you're as if you're gonna cut a snowflakes out of it, but you will not cut it true. So you will just cut at an angle, starting from the bottom, from the big part, and then you alternate. So the reason you put the tail up is because it's supposed to look like a shooting star. Yes, like a shooting star. I moved here, I got married in 1994, so I moved in the United States. In 1994 is 24 years. So it's been that long, and having a parole in the house is something that's just like me, make me remember home. And knowing that there is a parole hanging up in my family's home, making one for my apartment reminds me, my mother, my family. Maligayang Pasko at manigong bagong taon. From our family to yours, happy holidays and happy new year.